Hello guys, so in this video we will solve this problem, chocolate feast. Little Bobby loves chocolate. He frequently goes to his favorite 5 and 10 store that is Penny Ante to buy them. They are having a promotion at Penny Ante. If Bob sells enough apples, he can turn them in uh, for a free chocolate. For example, if Bob has n equal to 50 to spend on bars of chocolate that costs he for each so he can turn in um, equal to two wrappers to receive another bar initially he buys five chocolates and has five wrappers after eating them so he turns four of them leaving one with him and for two more bars and after eating those he has three wrappers and turning turn into leaving him one wrapper of his new bar once he eats that one he has two wrappers and turns them in for another bar so totally he will eat nine bars so function description is an, an integer representing bobby's initial amount of money c an integer representing the cost of each chocolate bar and m an integer representing the number of wrappers he can turn in for a free bar so here the input format is t denoting the number of test cases to analyze t line contains the three space separated integers that is n c and m they are representing money to spend cost of chocolate the number of wrappers he can turn in for a free chocolate so here number of test cases are three the first is money that he initially has 2 is the cost of each chocolate and 5 is the number of wrappers he can turn in to a free chocolate. So for the first test case he gets 6 chocolate and second 3 chocolates and for the third he will get the 5 chocolates. So initially in the function we have to take an integer wrapper to store the amount of wrappers he has so after that we have to count the number of wrappers he has initially that is wrappers is equal to and by c so these many chocolates he can buy with his initial amount of money so now we should also count the number of chocolates he has eaten so far so the count will be equal to wrappers for the initial part that is with the money he spent so after that we have to run a file loop condition for by is if the wrappers count goes more than the m that is the number of wrappers he can turn into a free chocolate then the wrapper will be Decremented by M and the chocolate count will be incremented by 1 and plus that that chocolates wrapper will be incremented by 1 so this while loop will give us the total number of chocolates he can eat with the wrappers with the turning wrappers into chocolates and this part will give us the number of chocolate he bought with his initial amount of money n so this combination of two will give us the total count of chocolate he has eaten so we just have to return the count here we have to write the return So 
so after this we will run our code so our first two test cases are passed we will submit our code so all the test cases are passed so the code is running and this code is working properly so if you want more videos on hacker rank solutions please subscribe to my channel thank you